All right, I'm at AWS reInvent and I just come here for a Hawkeye party by Newbird. Super excited to be here because I'm going to meet the Gen AI for SRE. What it is, uh, let's find out because I'm going to talk to Hawkeye. So let's do this. All right, I'm with the co-founder of Newbird, Avinod. Welcome to the Robert Show. Super excited to be here at the Hawkeye party. Awesome. Thanks. I'm wanting, yeah, I'm wanting to learn a little about Hawkeye, about what is it? Can you tell us a little more about it? Absolutely. So Hawkeye is your AI-powered IT ops engineer. Is your teammate. He is your teammate. He belongs in your SRE team. And you know, I think the best way to explain Hawkeye is through Hawkeye. So oh, serious. Hawkeye asks a question, why do SRE teams love Hawkeye? And this is exactly how Hawkeye works. He gets into the mind of an SRE, and that's his chain of thought that is being shown here. And then he's going to examine the data sources and the data that is being presented here comes directly from the telemetry. So in this particular case, it is incident management systems that Hawkeye has been working on, and that is what you will see here. And uh, I'll let Hawkeye finish the analysis, but in a nutshell, Hawkeye is augments your SR18. Is he is going to reduce the MTTR, MTTR significantly from days to even minutes, and he is going to, you know free up the time for your engineers to work on other problems than sift through logs. And there is this kind of, Hawkeye, you know, it works upon the challenges of uh, headcounts, uh, you know, hiring SRAs as well as retaining them is a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And Hawkeye never quits and he's always there. He's always part of your team. Think of him, think of him as a reliable, dependable source of information for the rest of the team members. Yeah, okay, this is pretty interesting. I'm going to ask a question to Hawkeye as well. I'm going to go and give it a shot. So, thanks for explaining that to me. Uh, I'm excited to see what Hawkeye can do for the SREs out there, for the AI ops teams out there. Thanks, Vinod. And uh, I'm going to go and check it out now. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you. Okay, as promised, we did the demo. Now it's time to interview the co-founder of Newbird, who's created Hawkeye. So let's do this. All right, welcome to the Robert Show. As promised, we are here at the Newbird's HQ and uh, super excited to be with uh, the co-founder, Gu, who's, um, whom I met at um, uh, in Vegas. Yeah. But then uh, super excited to learn more about what's happening at uh, Newbird. And I did try Hawkeye, so I was quite impressed uh, with the power that it has and here I am talking to you about more and wanting to learn more about it. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, now, if you tried Hawkeye, I think um, your impression with Hawkeye would probably be the same thing that we have here every day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I've been in um, uh, in enterprise infrastructure for most of my career and, and so I've, I've done, you know, in building products, you end up supporting your customers and you live the uh, pain that they go through with just uh, overall infrastructure and a a application um, outages and um, unavailabilities and performance issues. And so you end up assisting them at, um, you know, through all their troubles and at uh, odd hours of the day. And so to see Hawkeye do what it can do in a matter of minutes um, is always amazes us. And I always like um, seeing that, um, you know, vicariously through um, people that um, try Hawkeye out. So yeah. I'm glad you had that experience. Yeah, you're right. And I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about the inspiration. What was the story behind creating Hawkeye? Uh, obviously, you mentioned about, you know, various challenges yeah. that you've seen in the space over years of experience that you have. Uh, but what was those you know, those gaps that, that you saw in this space and in the observability tools that led you to this innovation? You know, um, you, you met Vinod right. at, um, at reInvent and um, Vinod, um, one of our co-founders. Um, the I'll, I'll get to the inspiration in just a minute. Mm -hmm. but, um, both Vinod and myself, we share a passion for, um, you know, data science just all the way from school and um, also AI. Uh, but, you know, now going back 30 years ago when we were in school, um, AI was a concept that didn't really have the uh, horsepower needed to be able to run the type of things that, um, you know, you can run today. And so uh, we um, did uh, a lot of uh, work around neural networks back then. But uh, again, uh, you couldn't really take it as far as you could take it today. Right. To get to your answer around what inspired Newbird, um, 
uh, we saw three things aligning for us. One is our passion for data science. Yep. Uh, and and IT telemetry is all about data science, logs, metrics, alerts, traces. True. Uh, the second thing is we have battle wounds ourselves. We've been in the IT infrastructure space, and um, I've been at, uh, up at two in the morning troubleshooting problems, looking at <laughs> uh, traces. And the third thing was that now, fast forward to 2024, AI is real. It can work. Um, you can see all the things that uh, Gen AI has done. And so when these three stars aligned, we were um, finally able to see light at the end of the tunnel to bring our three passion uh, uh, elements to a culmination, data science, solving um, enterprise infrastructure problems using AI. I think we know how to do this because uh, we've uh, lived through the problems we know exactly um, what needs to be solved. We uh, know what uh, SREs face, and so right. who better to go do this than us? No, I think uh, those are fantastic insights and uh, comes from experience, comes from the scars, obviously, that you all have had yeah. over the years in this space. But um, kind of curious, you mentioned about SREs, and I know for a fact where I did try Okai and a lot of IT teams are going to benefit from it. Uh, so curious to know uh, the impact that will simplify in the workforce. How does that work? Uh, would you like to share a little bit about that? Yeah, look, ultimately, oh, what is the most important resource in an enterprise? It's your employees. And if they're spending time um, troubleshooting infrastructure problems and application outages, well, then they're not actually working on more innovative tasks. They're not mm -hmm. contributing to your bottom line. They're not um, creating new applications. Uh, new products, new features. And so what Hawkeye will do is give you that bandwidth. It will let you go in and let your engineers focus on more important tasks, more creative tasks. Right. And our point is that the um, whenever there's, and there will always be problems that happen in um, your right. infrastructure. You just can't not have an issue. But the uh, point is, when you do have an issue and Hawkeye can come in and resolve it in record time, um, taking hours down to minutes, uh, that ends up starting to move the needle. Then as an enterprise, you want to take more, you want to be more aggressive in how you take new right. technology to market. You want to be more aggressive in onboarding newer applications. And um, you can let your your employees focus on more important tasks and that's really what this allows you to do makes sense it's about the time scalability and obviously in the world that we are living obviously the productivity kind of matters a lot when it comes to even the it ops team or the sres uh so productivity and employee happiness right i mean again yeah. um troubleshooting and solving uh an it problem is not necessarily the most um appealing part of anybody's <laughs> uh, uh you know day job so right. um when your employees aren't doing that and they're focusing on more creative tasks then um they're happier and everybody's happier right exactly no i agree 100 percent um thanks for sharing those insights go uh, kind of also curious to learn a little about Hawkeye's uh, proprietary language uh, that you all use for processing telemetry data, uh, which is unique, right? So how does that this enable LLMs to effectively analyze you know, the dense, unstructured data and provide uh, actionable solutions? How does that work? So uh, when you spoke to or had the demo with Vinod, yep. uh, you, he probably talked about this language that we have called Rail. And so... Now, here's where uh, Newbird comes in. Um, e e LLMs and Gen AI uh, are really good in creating content. Uh, what we're trying to do is create solutions, create a resolution. Right. And so there's a difference between creating content and creating a resolution to a problem. Mm -hmm. The novelty in what Newbird does is we recognize that you can't just give, like you, like you would in marketing, you can't just give a reference document and ask the LLM to create another reference document based on some prompt engineering, right? And you can give, you can say, here's a marketing campaign I did last month. I want a new marketing campaign with these minor edits and not a problem that uh, uh, Gen AI will do a great job with that. That's actually not the problem statement we're trying to solve here. We have IT telemetry, which are um, thousands of metrics, thousands of lines of logs in any given small window. And how do you 
how do you take all of that and what are you trying to generate? Are you trying to generate a new problem? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to come up with a solution? What we do is we are extracting the reasoning capabilities that exist in these LLMs. So we present the data to these LLMs in such a way that we're able to extract how they would operate if they were a human IT engineer. Right. What would they do in going about debugging a problem? Uh, breaking down a complex problem into smaller problems and then taking a smaller problem and then figuring out what data samples you need uh, right. from it. Now, the language you asked about, we call this RAIL, which mm -hmm. stands for Raven AI Expression Language. Raven comes from um, the name, it's a bird, and so um, right. hence Raven. But Raven AI Expression Language is a very specific language that's designed to instruct the LLMs to write code to take the reasoning capabilities they have in such a way that we can surgically extract telemetry, make sense of the telemetry, correlate one piece of uh, telemetry from one data source to another, and create a higher level hypothesis, a higher level thought process, ultimately culminating toward coming up with a solution. So, in a way, we are not using LLMs to do what's called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. We're using LLMs to extract their reasoning capabilities so that we can mimic the thought process of a human engineer in the field nice. and come up with a solution. Yeah, I think those are fantastic insights and in having like human-like reasoning is like a game changer for sure because it just gives you more confidence, but at the same time, it's something that you feel like talking to, right? So It is, and we uh, give um, um, Hawkeye... Yeah. Um, our um, SRE, uh, a per per personality, um, there's a persona uh, nice. associated with it. There is a human in the loop. Um, it will engage with the um, person that's interacting with Hawkeye. Look, there's three ways in which Hawkeye gets triggered. Primarily, it's an autoresponder. So people would um, set Hawkeye up to look at your alerts, uh, outages. Um, mm -hmm. Integrating Hawkeye with PagerDuty is a common um, uh, application. But uh, when Hawkeye does respond to incidences, it uh, if it needs more information or um, you know input from a human colleague, it will most certainly reach out and right. say, I need some more information to be able to complete this thought process or come up with a resolution. Go. how does, you know, uh, the security and privacy kind of uh, is managed in this environment? Would you like to share something around Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a great question because, uh, look, when people are chatting with chat GPT, there's some element of security, but you're <laughs> not, um, um, you know, um, subject to enterprise uh, privacy constraints. Right. But when it comes to enterprise data, you know, it's a different uh, ball game altogether. Well, one of the benefits in how we do this at Newbird is we're not actually sending any of the, uh, any of the enterprise data to the LLMs. We don't need to. It's not necessary for us to consult with the LLMs to come up with a thought process. We pose a hypothetical to these LLMs saying, if I were to be having this issue, like an application outage, um, how would you go about debugging this? And the LLMs, using the real programming language, uh, right. instruct uh, Hawkeye in how to go about diagnosing the problem. In other words, the only person looking at the telemetry or the uh, uh, your, your, your logs and metrics are, is Hawkeye, not the LLMs. So there's mm -hmm. no learning happening on your data. Uh, there's no private information going to the LLMs. It's a, it's a one-way direction where the LLMs are instructing Hawkeye what to do. Right. And Hawkeye will go in and, and uh, execute the queries on your uh, telemetry. The other thing is, uh, at no point in time does Hawkeye need to actually look at your application data. That's not necessary to diagnose the problem. Yeah, I think uh, that's fantastic. Um, also recently, you all were named... Uh, as the cool vendor by Gartner, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about the funding news and, you know, you're all going GA. I know there's a lot of things that happened. So would you like to share a little about that as well? Sure thing. Um, t uh, 24 has been a very busy, good, um, hectic, um, right. um, um, productive year for us. So we're very proud to be a Gartner cool vendor. Um and, uh, you know, uh, look, uh, the, this, this funding announcement is about us accelerating our momentum. We had a lot of good uh, feedback 
uh, and uh, success from our early access trials during the year. Nice. We started that in the summer. And, um, you know, this, uh, how do I put this? You know, um, if you were to ask, if we were to have the same conversation last year, there were a lot of unknowns in front of us. Will the technology work? Um, you know, can we uh, solve uh, very difficult issues in record time? And what we, you know, so that was an unknown. Um, midway through the year, as we put this out in front of customers and we got feedback from our co-development nice. uh, uh, partners, they helped us build Hawkeye. Um uh, the feedback has generally been that Hawkeye can operate like an engineer that has sometimes in some cases 15 years of operational experience and could solve problems that their um, colleagues found, um, you know, really, really uh, astonishing, like, wow, Hawkeye could do that and this. And so what we said is, well, if Hawkeye is performing so good, uh, we just need to accelerate getting Hawkeye out into um, mainstream sooner than we thought. Uh, we are fortunate enough to be working with Microsoft now on this. Nice. Um, when Microsoft uh, reached out to us, we got we were super excited to say, "Look, one of the premier companies in AI. If they, you know, if we can partner with them and amplify um, Hawkeye's, uh, uh, you know, um, availability to uh, more enterprise accounts. Nice. Uh, that's what we're setting out to do with this um, funding." That's awesome. Congratulations on the funding. Congratulations Thank you. on, you know, obviously getting out there to the larger community and enterprise accounts to, uh, and partnering with Microsoft. So that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, one last question around um, Newbird, Hawkeye. What's what's in the future? What can we expect? <laughs> uh, you know, well, well uh, concretely, uh, today Hawkeye is, um, you know, operating in, in a mode where it will make the recommendations as to what needs to be solved. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we will be releasing autonomous mode uh, very soon where Hawkeye will actually take the actions as well. Uh, obviously, uh, this this depends on, you know, this is uh, Gen AI. And the enterprise is a very early space, and people are still trying to figure out how much to trust AI. So a lot of this has to deal with more than what we can do at Newbird. It has to deal with, uh, you know, where the sentiment, general sentiment, is around adoption of AI in the enterprise. Um, assuming that all, all of that goes um, as we hope it would, uh, Hawkeye will be operating in autonomous mode. As far as um, what to look for in the future, look, Hawkeye, as uh, like any other engineer, will keep gaining experience over time, keep solving harder and harder problems. Uh, that's what we're looking for, where, um, you know, where Hawkeye can solve pretty hard problems today. Can it solve the hardest of problems, the mm -hmm. most difficult of issues? Well, I, I, you know, I don't want to um, uh, look in, incredulous and say Hawkeye can solve any issue on the planet, but or as time goes on, as people evolve, Hawkeye will evolve and get um, smarter and solve more critical problems. And that's kind of what we're focused on. And that's what is ahead of us. Which is good news. And uh, definitely with over time, we all evolve as tools evolve, right? Yeah. So we're going to see that. Um, but thanks for the conversation. Thanks for sharing all the details. One last question, I promise, uh, is if folks want to reach out to you, which is the best place? LinkedIn, uh, X, where where would you prefer? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, for, uh, LinkedIn, definitely. Yep. Um, we have, um, um, Hawkeye has a social media presence. I would encourage people to follow Hawkeye yep. um, on social media. Um, Hawkeye uh, will be putting out um, routine newsletters. Nice. Uh, and what does this mean? It's um, uh, honestly, it's not content created by us. It will be content regurgitated by Hawkeye's actual experience out in the field. And so, if you want to cool. see uh, the week of an SRE through Hawkeye's lens, and maybe even um, have some stories, um, you know, uh, contributed by Hawkeye's colleagues out there in the field. Um, follow Hawkeye. I think there will be some good uh, good information. There. That's awesome. I'm going to share some links with them as well so they can follow that. Uh, but go uh, again, such a pleasure chatting with you today and uh, learning more in depth about Hawkeye. Um, for those who wish to learn more, I'll share all the links with you and even the announcements of uh, the, the things that we spoke about. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you, Go. Thank you, everyone.